After this tutorial, you are going to learn how to properly export your character from Blender to Mizamo without any mixing texture and rig the character in Mizamo and export it back to Blender and generate the rig. Then you are going to use Face It to rig the face and generate the facial shape piece. Then after that, you are going to combine the face rig and the body rig together as one rig so that we can control the both rig together. I'm going to far and I'm going to save this scene. So I'm go going to save as because I have already saved it. So I'm going to save it again. So I go to desktop and create a new folder. So this folder I name it boy and then select that folder and name yours F and then save in inside that folder so now let's go and open that folder and see we see that we have only boy dot far inside that folder we don't have the textures and the other so when you go to material you see that the textures has embedded into the dot blend file we have to unpack the texture so press a to select everything in the scene go to far and external data then click on unpack resources so here you have to use the first in current directory so here when you go to your boy folder you see that now we are get a test test where we have our character tester inside so here I save my scene again and then go to file export. Now we are going to export it as FBS. So navigate to where you have your boy folder. So on my desktop and here. Now go to path mode and change it from auto to copy. Make sure you click that one. It means embed texture. Now let's export it as FBS. So you go back to your folder. You see that we got boy.fbs and our texture folder here. So use control select both of that texture and your FBS file and add achieve. You have to add make it as zip file. Now let's go to Mizamo. Then we have the our upload character panel here. So you just drag your boy zip folder inside. Now it has been loaded. You see that our texture has been loaded correctly. So now we are good to go. So click on next and let's align the check the rest using the reference on your right side over there. So I have aligned it now. You don't click on next so we see that just click on next forget about it and then just click on next we know that we lose our previous character so here you see that our character has been loaded into our mesomo scene and it has been rigged very well as you can see the animation so here i'm going to download this character so just click on download and for the scan you have to choose with scan and just click on download So here to avoid any problem you have to click on save us and here make sure you save it inside your boy folder the folder you have your texture inside so just click on save now we have done let's go back to blender create new scene So we'll go to far and import FBS. We'll go to your boy folder and just open, click on the open door in was. This is our FBS file. 
go to material preview you see that our materials are set to transparency so we need to change it to opaque so just select your, your object and go to materials in settings you see that the blend mode has set to so we have to change them from alpha blend to opaque and then we have to do it for all the object that has transparency in it so and after you're done you can unhide it back now you see that we have our animation playing here so this is nice so uh, let's start to read the character so first you have to make sure you have your mesomo add-on installed i will leave link in the description where you can go and download it so select the rig and go to your mesomo tab so press n and go to your mesomo now here i'm going to remove all the keyframes so just click on zero out rig to remove all the keyframe and then click on create rig then here you have to make sure you use the default settings it means you are going to use the ik and the ik for the less and the arms so you have to click on ok now we see that we are get our rig done so you can go to post mode and test your rig and see how effectively it is this nice Mizamo has done a lot you see the weight painting is better as compared to using the blender uh, automatically with then making it very, very difficult to use the blender so now let's go and rig the face using the face it so the face it add-on is speed you can download it from blender market so yes select the character body and just click on register face and select this and mark it as main then hide it and you are going to do it for the so you select the eye and mark it as the left eye and hide it right eye and then mark it as right eye then hide it so that you don't get confused so select the teeth upper teeth and mark it as upper teeth and lower teeth and do it for all the facial features so now we have done go to the red tab and just click on generate landmarks you see that we get this landmarks we use our right mouse to confirm so you position it and then use your right mouse to confirm it and we use to scale you move your mouse pointer down and scale it and use the right mouse to confirm it again so we have done now let's align the point to our face we have to make sure it looks similar to mine so that it don't get distorted when we generate the facial face shape keys this is how it has to be so if you don't just click on project landmarks and then you have to align this one to the jaw side So when you are done, just click on generate face rig. For now, you can bind it to the rig. So just click on bind. Use the default settings. Click on OK. Let's go to post mode and test our rig. So you see now everything is nice. So let's go to the expression tab. Here we are going to load the face shape keys. So you load the facial arcades. Just click on OK. Then pay back and see how our face shape keys has been generated. This is very nice. So we are happy. Let's go to the big 
and let's big shape key so you click on big shape keys and make sure you choose the settings i'm using keep the facial rig active then use other transform and that's why to make sure you choose all the options over there that one helps me that's why i use that one settings now we see we can control we have big the shape key to the character so now we can assess it from the vertex property and we have the shape keys now let's see how we can combine the body rig to the face rig so go to the rig units and i uh, join body amateur so, so here you are going to select our body amateur that the body amateur and the bone here you are going to search for ctrl dash head so that means control head so select that one and then just click on join to body here use the default settings and just click on ok don't mind about the errors for now so here yeah, let's go to post mode and try and test you see that it said that you can't change the post because it is in rest position so what you have to do is to go to your object data properties and change it from rest position to post position now you see now we can post our character here we can use the head to control now let's hide the the bone so you go to your layers you see that press shift and then click on that second layer that in this that will be our index one so you start from the zero so we hide that and it will hide that bone now let's test the face and see so go to finalize and click on clean up now all our keyframe has been clean so now we can assign the shape key from our shape key. Now we can control both the face rig and the body armature together. So if you have, you have made it to this point, congratulations, you have done your best. This is the way you can achieve this. It's very simple and maybe tricky in some ways. So if you have enjoyed the tutorial, make you subscribe and like, comment for more videos. For next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make use the Mizamo rig, combine it. You're going to use small Mizamo rig and combine it to one animation. That's what you're going to do as next tutorial. So guys, this is the end. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.